Hey everyone, it's Nick Jerusalo here with the Jerusalo's Happy Home Team. And I just kind of wanted to run through a couple thoughts we had on, you know, what are the most important things to look for when you're hiring an agent to sell your home? And so first of all, please make sure you hire or interview more than one agent. Uh, you know, for most people, this is the biggest investment you'll make in your entire life. And so you wanna make sure that you have all the facts in front of you. You can compare what it is they're doing, what it is the other parties are doing. So you feel really comfortable and confident with that decision. Um, but ultimately, I'd say the most important thing to look at is what is the experience and track record that that person has? Because everyone can, can talk a good story, the end of the day is what are the results you're actually getting for your clients and experience is a very relative thing right because you could be in this business for 20 years and sell one house a year and you don't have a lot of experience you've been around for a while but you're obviously not doing a lot of business and the flip side of that is that maybe you've been in the business for a year or two but if you sold 50 homes in your first year in the business you obviously know what you're doing now you only have a very static view of what the market's like and it definitely pays to have some of that longevity but you know in our market right now we have 8,000 new agents just in the last five years that's an increase of 40 percent so just really make sure you're doing some vetting on on who you have going to work for you um, and the reason that the experience is so important is because in this real estate business you know you're dealing with this a decision that's basically all of your money and then your home is very emotional so you're combining your emotions and all your money in one decision and so people don't always make sound decisions <laughs> and so you need to know how do you navigate money and emotions all in one big decision so for instance if you have uh, an, a listing that just came on the market you get a really clean offer right out the gate how do you know whether to wait or do you jump on this offer or do you try to see if you can get a higher price and if you're maybe negotiating with a buyer you know how do you know when you need to push or when you need to pull back because people can go really quickly from feeling like, yay, I won, I got the house of my dreams, to hang on, I'm getting hustled, and I need to take a step back, and I don't want to do this deal at all. So it's a dance. It's a very fine balance, and it's not something you can read in a textbook. You really have to go through it to learn it. And guess who happens to have a lot of history and experience? Hey, the Happy Home Team. Our family's been doing this since 1989, and we've helped over a 1,000 families buy or sell. Um, you know, on average, we're selling one or two homes a week, so we have a lot of very real-time data to help. So um, always please feel free to holler at us with any questions. You know, call, text, email. You can also visit us online, of course, at happyhometeam.com. Happyhometeam.com.